Hello everyone. What you are seeing on my screen here is Microsoft Edge browser is split into two. Are you wondering how I did this? Then stick with me because I will show you how it is done. This is an upcoming feature for Microsoft Edge. As of now, this feature is not officially released yet for the main browser. Only Microsoft Edge beta users, dev users, and Canary users can have access to this feature as of now, and it supports only Windows 10 and 11. So here on the Microsoft Edge Insider page, I will download the Canary because it has been updated daily. Accept their terms and conditions and this will download the installer. After the download file is complete, open it and run it. Wait a couple of minutes for the installer to download and install the Microsoft Edge Canary. Complete the welcome tips and customize your Microsoft Edge theme. As you can see here, the welcome page that will give you information about the Microsoft Edge Canary channel. At the top, open a new tab and type edge, column, forward slash, forward slash, and flags, then press enter. This will open experiment settings for us. In the search box, type in here split, and this will bring Microsoft Edge split option. You can see mine is set to default, so I will change it to enable. At the right bottom, click on the restart to save the settings. Wait for the browser to restart. Close the settings. Now let's test the split feature. So quickly, I will open the Google page and at the top here on the browser, there is an icon that said split window, which will allow us to split the window of our browser. So go ahead and click on it. Here we go. The browser has been split equally into two. Now I can go ahead and watch YouTube videos and on the other side, I can surf the web or do other stuff that wants. You can uninstall the Canary version if you want or if the Spit feature is officially released on the main Microsoft Edge. I hope this feature will be very useful to you and if it did, do not forget to like the video, subscribe, and comment as well. See you on another tutorial soon. Stay tuned.